open up with a, I get an email about a, how many Passovers are, raise your hand if you know the answer. If you don't know the answer, keep your hand up. How many Passovers are we allowed to celebrate in a year? All right, who do I want to call on? Let me try this young man right here in the front with the pink pen. You with the pink pen. Throw that pen in the garbage. <laughs> Shalom. Shalom. It's a highlighter. Um, I know it's a highlighter. How many Passovers are we allowed to celebrate in a year? One. Okay, have a seat. Everybody agree with him? Raise your hand. Okay. All right. Uh, let me hear you. Seth, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. What's his name? Elihu. Elihu. Who's Seth? Is there Seth? In oh, y'all look similar, bro. <laughs> See? Black people be looking alike. <laughs> All right. Shalom. Shalom. Most high Christ, Christ bless. Um, two. Um, if you miss the first Passover, the following month, you have to uh, celebrate according to Numbers 9. Very good. The young Amen. man is correct. Let's, let's read that. Numbers chapter 9. Let's start at verse 5 and go that. Read that. It's absolutely correct. Numbers chapter 1, verse chapter 1. Chapter 9. Chapter 9, verse 1. Excuse chapter me. Chapter 9, verse 5. Verse 5. And they kept the Passover on the 14th day of the first month at even in the wilderness of Sinai. Here's a question. The 14th day at evening is actually what day? Only, only, a few, only two people know. It's the 15th. It's the 15th. Read. At even in the wilderness of Sinai, according to all that the Lord commanded Moses, so did the children of Israel. And there were certain men who were defiled by the dead body of Wait, a let me, man. Let me prove that. Go to Leviticus 23, 5 and 6. I'm sorry. I just got to prove that the 14th of the evening is actually talking about the 15th day. Leviticus 23, verse 5 and 6. Leviticus 23, verse 5. In the 14th day of the first month at even is the Lord's Passover. And on the 15th day... Of the same month is the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Now, you might read that and think it's talking about two different things, but it's not. Now, get me uh, New Testament. Luke, is it 24 and 1? 22. 22 and 1. Thank you. It's the same holiday. Watch this. Luke 22 and 1. Luke chapter 22, verse 1. Now, the Feast of Unleavened Bread drew nigh, which is called... The Passover. Y'all see that? It's the same holiday. So when we go back to Leviticus 23, Officer Liam, let's read that one more again, verse 5 and 6. Leviticus 23, verse 5. This is why we are commanded to read the Bible precept upon precept, here a little and there a little. If you put all the precepts together, you get the fullness of the story of what's being said. Go ahead. And the 14th day of the first month at even is the Lord's Passover. And on the 15th day, of the same month is the Feast of Unleavened Bread. So let's talk about the same thing, same holiday on the same day. Unto yeah. the Lord, seven days ye must eat unleavened bread. Okay. Uh, Liam, could we go back to the verses you just read earlier? Because Luke. the reason, no, 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 this one right here in Leviticus. The reason why the bishop is bringing this out because, and I know this, there has been some confusion over whether it's a different day or not. But this right, this is the reason why it's 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 imperative that, that people stay in school, right. so that they can learn how to read, because reading is fundamental. There's no way after reading, and we had this problem back in the days. We had we had actually messed this up, so I won't contri I won't completely contribute it to uh, the inability to to read, uh, because we thought we were sincere, but. It's a particular reality when you read these scriptures, and these particular scriptures here, where it's clear that it's talking about the same day. I'm going to show you. Leviticus read, 23, read, verse 5. Read the, uh, yes, yes. In the 14th day of the first month at even. Hold it. 
See, this time we got to be slow. Read it again. In the the 14th day. In the 14th day. Of the first month. Of the first month. So we know this is the month of a bib. Y'all all right? Go ahead. At even. So at evening. What's happening at evening? I can't hear you. It's another day. So it's telling you that whatever we're going to read beyond this, this is not occurring in the 14th day. Y'all see that? Because it says that, the, like when you go to Genesis 1 and 5, it says, and the evening and the morning were the first day. So the evening begins the day. So if they're telling you here that the fourth, it, it says in the 14th day at evening, it is not talking about the 14th day. It's actually speaking about the 15th day because it begins at sundown. Y'all see that? There's no reason for us to be confused beyond this. Read. And on the 15th day of the same month. Stop. So the 15th day, is that different from what we read at the 14th verse? Uh, I mean, the verse above that? No. It's telling you it's the exact same day. Y'all all right? Okay, Bishop, that's now it. Now go to Numbers. Back to Numbers chapter 9. The book of Numbers chapter 9, verse 5. And they kept the Passover on the 14th day of the first month at even in the wilderness of Sinai, according to all that the Lord commanded Moses, so did the children of Israel. And there were certain men who were defiled by the dead body of a man, that they could not keep the Passover on that day. And they came before Moses and before Aaron on that day. And those men said unto him, We are defiled by the dead body of a man. Wherefore are we kept back, that we may not offer an offering of the Lord in his appointed season among the children of Israel? And Moses said unto them, Stand still, and I will hear what the Lord will command concerning you. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If any man of you or of your posterity shall be unclean by reason of a dead body or be in a journey afar off, ye shall keep the Passover. Yet yet, Yet he shall keep the Passover unto the Lord. The fourteenth day of the second month at even they shall keep it and eat it with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. So the Lord said, if you were far away, you couldn't get to Jerusalem or get to where we were gathering, you can keep it the next month. So now, I want to get to this month. Because remember this, when you look at this year, the Esau has something called leap year. Amalek says there were two months called Adar, meaning they call it two Februaries. <laughs> it's crazy stuff. Uh, get me the map. Not map, I keep saying map. Uh, get me the uh, calendar, new moon. Give me the new moon. Give me the new moon. Okay. This is April of this month. Now, we kept Passover last month. Yes, some people were on a far journey going to keep it this month. Okay. You have some other camps that want to keep it this month. Do y'all see where the new moon, according to Esau's new moon terminology, y'all see where the new moon is? What, what day? The seventh. Okay. So now, this is for the Israel. I'm going to help everybody out here. Uh, who can count the dates? Who can count? Anybody here can count the dates? It's the 14th day at evening, which is what day? The 50th. Who can count for me? Somebody. Not you get a lot. Y'all are not in the front row. Uh, young man back there, you. you. If you can't see that good, you can come up a little closer if, if you need to come up. I can see it. Now, let me help you out here. Where do we begin counting at? Um, that way I'm going to know if you know what you're talking if you're about. Gonna, if you're going to begin counting, you're going to start counting from the 8th. Uh, Let me see. So ninth, when we celebrate the new moon, do we celebrate it the night it comes in, or do we wait a whole 24 hours? When we celebrate the new moon, we celebrate it the night it comes in. Okay. Thank you. Right, right. I am a see. Right. You're going to celebrate when it's over. So wait a minute. It was the other night. Okay, this young man right there with a the hand up. Oh, you got a black pit. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see now. Let me ask you the same question. What night do we begin 
counting the seventh. The okay. Seventh evening. Okay. Because that's the new moon, right? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Begin. Now we want the fourteenth day at evening, which is what? The twenty second. Which is what? The fifteenth day. Okay. Go ahead. Count. We go from seven, eight, the ninth, the tenth, the eleventh, the twelfth, the fourteenth. That make that make that a week. Um, at evening make it a week. Um, the fifteenth, the sixteenth, the seventeenth, the eighteenth, the nineteenth, the twentieth, the twenty-first. At evening, that'll make it two weeks. That'll make it the fourteenth day. Can somebody count better? And stop throwing in weeks. The, Just count proper. Skip Just go one, 13th. two, three, four. That way we can all follow you. This is a week here, and uh, because it's a week here, what the hell? You saw, hold it. You saw the number 13 and got freaked out? Okay. Hey, let me get that brother again. You over there messed up the first time. Let me give you another chance. Redeem yourself. Start at the seventh, the new moon. Just start. All right. <sighs> And don't throw in this is a week here and that's don't we don't want to hear that. All right. All right. Sevens one, eight, two, nine, three, ten, four, eleven, five, twelve, six, thirteen, seven, uh, fourteen, eight, fifteen, nine, sixteen, ten, seventeen, eleven, eighteen, twelve, nineteen, thirteen, twenty, fourteen. 21. At evening. That evening would be the 21st. Very good. Very good. The, e the 14th day at evening, which is the 15th, would be the 21st. Now, everybody understand that? I hope y'all learn how to count. Reading is fundamental. That's why I say stay in school. Woo! Y'all, some of y'all, that's why we, black people don't pay bills on time. Anybody. Now, that's, that would be the 21st. Anybody says they're going to keep it on the 22nd or the 23rd, that's by convenience. That's not scriptural, what they're doing. Everybody understand what I'm saying? Because I'm watching these different camps, and I'm like, wait a minute. That ain't the 14th day. This is something you made up. You, come, you sat in your laboratory and said, we want to do our own thing. Everybody understand what I'm saying? Be mindful. I know we get emails from sisters. Why is this camp celebrating it on this day? I don't know why they want to do some crazy stuff, but I know what day, if they're going to celebrate it this month, what day it's supposed to be on. So now, the next thing I want to talk about, get Levitic, get me, uh, what was the Liam? Numbers 10 about the new moon. Is it Numbers 10? I ain't read it in a long time. The book of Numbers, chapter 10, verse 10. Also, in the day of your gladness, and in your solemn days, and in the beginnings of your months, ye shall blow with the trumpet over your burnt offerings, and offer the sacrifices of your peace offerings, that they may be to you for a memorial before your God. Okay, give me the next one. Let me think. There's one in uh, Psalms, I think. Oh, yeah, Psalms 81. Yeah, give me that. I want that in conjunction with it. I'm getting somewhere with it. Just bear with me. Psalms, chapter 81, verse 3. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon in the time appointed on your solemn feast day. Go ahead. For this was a statute for Israel and a law of the God of Jacob. So when we got together on the new moon, it was, it was a what? It's a feast day. We all got together. It's a convocation. When we as a body come together... Am I supposed to stay home with me and Yawasop having a dinner and everybody else gathered together? So if the answer is no, why do I see some of your brothers doing that? I'm waiting for an answer. Why are some of you brothers doing that? You hear crickets now. Well, who did it? Okay, tell us why. <laughs> All I want to hear is I didn't know no better. Shalom. I was broke. That ain't an excuse. You know why? Because we are our brother's keeper up in here. Is that true? Yes, sir. All right. So we don't want to hear you. I was broke. I didn't know any you were, he wasn't. He, he wasn't that broke. He had some chicken and grits. <laughs> the hell is this? He said he didn't know any better. 
Okay. All right. Well, from now on, brothers, we all on the same page, right? All right. All praises. Hello, this is, I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.